Uh, yes, the solution for us is yes, the legal regulation. I 100% believe that substances should be regulated because while they have harms, they also have benefits. I think they are a very important part of the whole package, absolutely. We do need regulations. It's not enough to do just education or educating people or telling the youth about the problems on drugs. We do need regulations and uh, they should be enforced, you know, absolutely. Quiere decir muchas cosas. Entonces sí que es cierto que es importante eh, poder establecer un ordenamiento y, y poder establecer un, eh, un, un marco en el cual eh, se mejore la coexistencia entre las personas y, y las sustancias. Regulation did its trick with tobacco and tobacco smoking started going down among people. Uh, so maybe this is a this is a good lesson where we can uh, learn. With uh, and then we have different kind of drugs which pose different type of risks. So we would have to really research. If this regulation, if this legislation, will be proved to be effective, well, the international community will have to take into account if they prove to be to be problematic or to be a failure, as some people say, we want to know why and we have to study. What I say is that we have to scientifically, objectively assess. We totally advocate to regulate the markets of all drugs, beginning for the cannabis, because it's the most widely used and accepted substance. So there we can experiment with new uh, legal models of regulation, which can help us to learn of how to regulate other, uh, the access to, to other drugs or substances. It's a way for us to create transparency and accountability within our government institutions as well. For much of, the, uh, much of Latin America, we have issues around uh, government weak institutions, and this is a way to strengthen them. Legislation is needed because it is above the uh, political parties, let's say. They have to obey them to the legislation. So it is, it is needed, but it's not the solution, but it is a helpful means to achieve a better policy. The less people use, the better it is overall. Um, but indeed, I mean, we see that there is some uh, um, uh, evolution happening and uh, we are very interesting, I mean, very interested in seeing how that is indeed to evolve. I would not like to see here a rhetoric or to see here too much policy. I, want, I would like the science to talk about these things. Canada, I think that that's in a, a country which can show, that can be an example how to arrange, uh, to arrange things. I know that there's quite some experimentation happening at this moment and let's see, I mean, with the data coming out, what the results of that will be. I would not necessarily see that as a panacea. For me, I see this as one step towards the no repetition of the gross human rights violations that we see in our countries, and also as a means of, you know, let's, we don't need to be distracted by drugs. Let's deal with them in the most rational, logical way that we know can work, and then we can focus on a lot of the other issues that are really impacting our, our world and our countries.